This is the London Southwestern T9440, built between 1899 and 1901. There were 66 produced, one remains. Initially they were fitted with a six wheel tender, that's what I've made, later they were changed to an eight wheel. Because of their speed and reliability, they were nicknamed the Greyhound. A quick word about livery before we start. The T9 was originally liveried in sage green and waxed weathered copper blocks are the best thing for that. I've made it here in those, as you can see, and I've got prismarine for the wheels. But that's a very expensive option. So the T9 over its lifetime also came in other liveries. We've got the original sage, waxed weather copper block, but then we've got a darker sage, dark prismarine's a good match for that, and of course wartime black and BR black, blackstone. So there are some cheaper options. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to be making the engine in dark prismarine. To make the T9, you'll need the following. The quantities are listed on the screen. If I'm out one or two blocks with the larger quantities, my apologies. Don't forget a waste block. I like dirt. To begin with, place a waste block on your track. And on top of that, place one, two, three red concrete. Get rid of the waste block. Now we're going to make buffers. Place pistons on their sides at either end of your red concrete. Come down underneath and put levers at the two outside red concretes. Flip them open. There's your buffers. I get these from Crafty Fox. There's a link to his channel in the description. Now we're going to put a crimson fence in the middle of the red concrete bar, a chain underneath, and an iron bar on top. And now three pieces of black carpet on your red concrete and a lantern on each piston. Now come round behind and from the middle red concrete we're going to place 17 grey or brown terracotta. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 15, 16, 17. So next we're going to make the wheels of the leading bogey. So come to the front and on this first grey terracotta place right way up near the brick stair. Place another one upside down. Come round behind it upside down right way up. That's cross shaped, it's supposed to be a circle, let's pretend it's a wheel. Now we're going to leave a gap of two blocks and we're going to make another wheel starting at the next one. Looks like that. Two polished black stone blocks in between the two wheels. Now at the back wheel we're going to place an upside down dark prismarine stair and a slab underneath and coming to the front wheel upside down polished blackstone brick stair directly behind the piston. Now repeat all this round the other side. Now place a row of polished blackstone brick slabs from this stair to that one so one two three four five. Now grab polished blackstone brick blocks and we're going to place them one two three and we're going to build up two more rows of that and one in the middle at the top. We're going to repeat this behind and fill the space at the top with stairs and at the bottom two right way upstairs. Same round here. Now come round to the front in the middle, count down one, two, place a lever and flick it down. At the top we're going to place two polished blackstone wall on this back block and a polished blackstone pressure plate on the top. That's our funnel. Now come back down to our wheelbase. Next to this nether brick stair, place a polished blackstone wall. And next to that, an upside down warped stem stair two pieces of polished blackstone wall and underneath upside down warped stair and another one facing the other way and next to the wall another upside down stair. On top of the two uppermost upside down stairs two warp blocks and two polished blackstone walls in between. 
Leave a gap of one, place another polished black stone wall and now make another partial driving wheel exactly the same way. So one upside down stair, two wall and upside down stairs. Planks on top, wall in between. Repeat this round the other side. Now place a polished black stone brick block between the two frontmost walk planks and run a line of that right the way along till you get to the end of the terracotta. Now it's time for the boiler and the firebox. So come round behind the front of your boiler and from this second block from the bottom, that one, we're going to go back 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Should bring us level with the front of the driving wheel. We're going to do that three more times. Now before I do the last one, fill the middle with prismarine or with waste blocks, whatever you like. And now the two channels at the top we're going to fill with dark prismarine stairs. And the channels at the bottom, we're going to fill the first eight with stairs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it should be level with the back of the first driving wheel. And fill the remaining three spaces with dark prismarine blocks. Now to make the wheel arches and running boards. So come to the first driving wheel and in front of the topmost block, we're going to place one, two, three, four dark prismarine blocks. Two on top in the middle and stairs either side of those two. Behind that place two polished black stone brick blocks and then one, two, three, four, five dark prismarine blocks and three more on top of that and a dark prismarine stair in front. Facing to the back place warp trap doors on top of the polished black stone bricks and place them on top of the dark prismarine blocks. Now coming to the front for the running boards, behind this stair we're going to place one, two, three polished black stone brick slabs and a polished black stone brick stair behind. That's our wheel arches and running boards. Reproduce these round the other side. Time for the funnel. Come to the top. We're going to count back five. One, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth place a dark prismarine block and a dark prismarine slab on top. Now we're going to build up the sides of the cabin. So come around to the back wheel arch and we're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six dark prismarine blocks and round the back a dark prismarine stair. Looks like that. Build up the other cab wall exactly the same way. Next take polished black stone blocks. We're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to place six more here inside the cab and another three in front. And then dark prismarine blocks here and here, a waste block, one on top and get rid of the waste block and upside down dark prismarine stairs either side of that middle block. And that gives us windows down the front of the train. Next take polished black stone slabs, put three here and six down here. Now to make the insides of the cab, blast furnace in the hole, item frame above it with a compass. I've got a glow item frame because why not? Lever at the side and an oak trap door for a wheel. Now that that's done, it's time to make the roof. Polished black stone slabs, bottom half, we're going to put three here and run it back another three. So we end up with a roof that is four by three, like that. Grab iron bars and we're going to put one, two, three and four. Same on the other side. Now place a piece of string between this prismarine block and that bar and run black carpet along the top. 
Now we're going to place coupling rods. I'm using iron trap doors. So come to this back part of the front driving wheel. We're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six iron trap doors. And under this last dark prismarine block, we're going to place an upside down dark prismarine stair and dark prismarine slab under it. Repeat these two details over the other side. There's our engine. Time for the tender. So come around to the back and this centre lower block place a grindstone for a coupling and now run grey or brown terracotta back 11 from that grindstone. So 1, 9, 10, 11 and once you get to the end 1, 2 and 3. Now we're going to make buffers the same as before, place pistons on their sides. This time we're putting levers at the end, flick them down and put a grindstone in the middle for a coupling. So come back to the front of the tender and either side of this first terracotta place a polished black stone block. Now leave a gap of one and we're going to make three more wheels as we did for the leading bogey. So nether brick stairs upside down right way up to make a cross shape. Leave a gap of one between each wheel and that should result in a gap at the end between the last wheel and the buffer. At the end, fill that gap with two dark oak fences and put one dark oak fence between each of the remaining wheels and the first wheel and the front of the tender. Now put hoppers into each of the top stairs of the three wheels. Come back to the front and next to this polished blackstone block we're going to place an upside down dark prismarine stair and a dark prismarine slab underneath. And you guessed it, repeat all this around the other side. Now grab your dark prismarine blocks again and we're going to run them right the way around the outside of the tender except for this block. So leave this one empty and otherwise run them right the way around. Next we're going to take polished blackstone slabs and we're going to place one, two, three and one in the gap. And we're going to place three on top and one more on top there. Now fill in the floor of the tender with polished blackstone blocks. Come back to the front of the tender. We're going to place dark prismarine blocks either side of this slab. Then leave these corners open and run dark prismarine blocks right the way around. And run another row right the way around again. Now that that's done, come to the back of the tender again. We're going to place six waste blocks and dark prismarine in front of them and then cover the top with dark prismarine blocks. Now come around to the front of the tender and directly behind our dark prismarine blocks we're going to place two polished blackstone blocks and a piece of polished blackstone wall in between the two uppermost ones. Now run iron bars right the way around the top of the tender and fill the tender with coal or blackstone or whatever takes your fancy. I like the blackstone because it looks like loose coal. Make sure that the top of it is a mix of full blocks and stairs and slabs so that it looks like the coal is all piled up. Spawn proof any parts that are needed with black carpet. And lastly, place a lantern on one of these dark prismarine blocks. And there we have it. One London South Western Railway T9440. There are end cards on the screen now linking to some more of my tutorials. And if you've got an engine that you'd like to see me do, put it in the comments, so long as it's British, STEAM and before nationalisation. See you next time. Bye.